The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? We're live on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Ukraine, and they take on Belgium. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. So we can check on the lineup today. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Oh, stellar defensive work to get back and win possession. Well, we have to say, Stuart, respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year. So many after... Oh, marvellous save! Great goalkeeping! Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Not the best clearance. Now what can they do from here? Timothy Castagna. And that was a very fine read. Dovbik, Viktor Tsigankov. Can he convert? And he read it really well. Fine save. Well, they fancy a short one. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And over comes the corner. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Well, the thing about Belgium is you've always got to take them seriously. I know we've been saying that for a while, haven't we? They're among the favourites when it comes to major tournaments. And I wonder, could this be the year, Stuart? Well, I think that was the case for the 2020 European Championships. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Firing is over. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Growing pressure here and another corner. Put in by De Bruyne. The clearance wasn't decisive. Has eyes for goal. And well positioned to clear. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Tielemans. Well thumped clear. Strong but fair tackle. Well, sitting deep and just trying to form a really coherent block. Released it nicely. And a simple clearance, a good one. It's 
Alexei Gankov. It is a decent looking attack here. Yorgi Sudakov. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Zinchenko. Could be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Dovbik. And Belgium have it back here. Well, did well to win the ball back. Artem Dovbik. Well, it could be on for him here. He can't hold on to it. Spot on with that tackle. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Castagna. Now space for Belgium in the wide position. De Bruyne waiting. Straight forward and turned onto the woodwork. Tielemans. Arthur Teat. Fass. De Bruyne now. Well, they keep passing away. Cuts it back. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And then the finish from Lukaku demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. So underway again here, one nil to score. Matvienko. On the ball, Taras Stepanenko. Alexander Zinchenko. Very quick thinking there. Kevin De Bruyne. Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Cleared away. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Vertonghen. And Belgium in a position of menace. to catch it under no real pressure Amadou Onana Mudrik So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, this man, Romelu Lukaku, a very difficult opponent, and the verdict, Stuart, has to be positive. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Vertonghen.
Mihailo Mudrik. And Belgium with the ball again. And he keeps going. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And the corner kick it is. What can they do with this one? So they look for inspiration. And over it comes. Resting like that will help the cause. He's using his strength to good effect. And they will make the change now. Oh, disappointing clearance. Mihailo Mudrik. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And a good take under duress there. Castagna. Oh, they've lost it. Mudrik. Moving the ball forward. How creative can they be? Decisive in the tackle and a throw in here. Artur Teat. Vertonghen. Well, allowing them to come onto them. Not afraid of that. Tielemans. And a tidy ball. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Cleared away comprehensively. Tielemans. Fass. It is to be a throw in. Malinowski. Sigankov. Vertonghen with it. Artur Teat. Tielemans. Kevin De Bruyne. Good use of the ball as they look to extend their lead. Now they stop them in their tracks. Tielemans Teat Vertonghen well keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them De Bruyne in the right place to cut out the pass Stepanenko Mikhailo Mudrik 20 minutes to go in this one Oh, nah, nah. Attacking possibilities for Belgium. Will he find the net? It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Oh! 
So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Stepanenko. Good use of advantage. Oh, they have it again. And it's through here. He went for placement, but not to be. Well, that's a big miss. 1v1 against the keeper, and he's missed the target. Here it is now, a substitution. Just 15 minutes remaining. Ikoma Luis Openda. Determined defending. Matvienko. Konoplia, Ilya Zabarni. And the referee blows the whistle, it is a free kick. Malinowski. Well, the fans want to see a shot. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game, and this could be a dramatic finale. Well, here it is again. He goes past these markers so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Tielemans. Artur Teat. De Bruyne now. Tielemans. Well, a swift challenge and a throw in coming up. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close. De Bruyne. Onana. Oh, No looking back now, surely. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Viktor Tsigankov. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. He's got to score! Strong hand on that one. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Doku. Very quick thinking there. Malinowski. On the ball, Taras Stepanenko. Now Zinchenko. Stepanenko. Alexander Zinchenko and the final whistle an acceptable outcome from a Belgian point of view a victory for them here Stuart sum it up for us well Derek they were dominant in most aspects of the game particularly in that midfield area and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch it's a really good result for them well I don't think Stuart anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game well he was a major reason why they won today he was so reliable and he inspires those around him